Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to solve the challenges in Flow Fundamental Super Batch Unit. To unlock this Super Batch, we need to complete all of these prerequisites. If you complete all of these, then the Flow Fundamental Super Batch Unit will get unlocked. And to start the challenges, we need to sign up for the Developer Edition org. For that, click on this link. This is the form that we need to fill up. So fill all the details available here and then click on the sign me up button. After waiting for 10 to 15 minutes of time, you will receive an email regarding password reset. So reset your password and then move to this instruction space. Just scroll down to the last. Here click on these three dots and then click on this connect org button. Now enter the username and password and after that click on this login button. So I already reset the password and already connected this org. So that's why I am not doing it again. This is the org that I connected. The first challenge is create tasks according to specific criteria. And to start this challenge we need to launch the developer edition org. For that click on this launch button. First of all move to the instructions of the challenge one. Here are the instructions that we need to complete. We need to make some changes in this book order flow. So move to the setup page and in this quick find search for flows. So select these flows. From here search for book order flow and then click on that. So this is the actual flow of book order and we need to make some changes. From these elements, first of all drag and drop this get records element and type the label as get book and for this object search it as book. So select this book object and here all conditions are met and search the field name as record id and leave the operator as equals and for this value search it as book item. So here it is where book line item and in that this book order. After that just scroll down here how to store record data select it as second option that is choose fields and let salesforce do the rest and for this field search it as name. So after adding all of these details, just click on this done button. After that we need to add decision element. So drag and drop this decision element. Then copy the label from the instructions. That is how many books in the order. Add it here. And for this outcome details label, type it as T or 4. And from this drop down select it as all conditions is met or and for the first resource search for where books added and for the value type it as 3 and then click on this add condition again search the resource as where books added and for the value type it as 4 after that in this outcome order click on this plus icon and type the label as greater than 5 greater than or equal to 5 search the resource as where books added and for this operator select it as greater than or equal and type the value as 5 after that click on this done button now we need to add the create record elements so drag and drop this create records and for this label type it as task equal to 3 or 4 and from this drop down select it as manually and search the object as task after that for the first field search it as due date only and for the value click on this new resource and here resource type select it as formula and copy the api name from the instructions that is due date then add it here and for the data type select it as date and also copy the formula 
add it here then click on this check syntax button after adding all of these just click on this done button so we can see that the value due date is added after that click on this add field and for the field search it as assigned to id and for the value search it as get records from queue so here it is group from get records for queue and in this search for group id after that again click on add field and here search for priority for the value select it as normal again click on this add field now search the field as subject and copy the value from the instructions that is add bookmark add it here again click on add field and for this field select it as what id that is related to id and for the value search for where book line item and in that book order so select this book order again click add field now search for who id that is name id and for the value select it as where contact id so here it is after adding all the fields correctly just click on this done button then we need to add one more create record element for the task greater than or equals to 5 drag and drop this create records for the label type it as task greater than or equal 5 and from this drop down select it as manually and for this object select it as task now for the field select it as due date only and for the value select it as due date again click add field now search the field as assigned to id for the value search for get records from queue and then group id again click add field now search the field as priority and select the value as normal again click add field search the field as subject and for the value copy it from the instructions that is add bookmark and sticker now again click add field search the field as related to id and for the value search for where book line item and here book order again click add field now search for name id for the value search for where contact id so after adding the fields correctly just click on this done button we added all the necessary elements and we need to give connections between them so first of all remove this arrow just click on that arrow and press delete in the keyboard and after that give a connection from this get records to this get book after that give a connection from get book to the station element and then give a connection from decision to this task equal to 3 or 4 so the outcome should be 3 or 4 and then click done again give connection from decision to task greater than or equals to 5 so the outcome should be greater than or equals to 5 click done and again give connection from decision to this subflow so we can see that the outcome is default outcome like this we need to give the connection after giving all the connections click on this save as new version and here click on this save button then activate the flow further click on this activate button the flow is activated successfully so move to the instruction space scroll down to the last and here click on this check challenge button yeah the challenge is completed and we got 500 points Now I am going to solve the second challenge in flow fundamental super batch unit. 
and the name of the challenge is add more details to email and update customer record start this challenge we need to launch the developer edition of further click on this launch button then you will be redirected to this page let's move to the instructions so here are the instructions that we need to complete so we need to make some changes in this recommendation email flow so move to the setup page and in this quick find search for flows click on this flows from here search for recommendation email flow so here it is click on that here after this screen element click on this plus icon and here search for assignment now add the label as assign and for this variable search for get customer info so here it is contact from guest customer info and here last outreach so here it is last outreach and for this value select it as flow so here it is running flow interview and in that current date time after adding these just click on this cross icon at the top after this assignment element we need to add the update records so click on this plus icon and in this search search for update records now add the label as update and after that for this record or record collection select it as contact from get customer info after adding this just click on this cross symbol at the top then we need to add screen element so after this email recommendation action click on this plus icon and here click on this screen element now type the label as confirmation screen so copy it from the instructions confirmation screen then add it here from this search component search for display text so click on this display text now copy the api name so there is no api name so copy this display text go to this flows and here type the api name as email and then paste the text that we copied and after that click on this done button then we need to add the email body resource for that click on this and here click on this email body text template here we need to change the text that should be displayed so i already written the text and i will add this text in the comments and also i will give this link in the description so copy from there and then remove all the text here then paste it here so the text should display like this only after that click on this done button after adding all of these click on this save as new version and then click save button now activate the flow further click on this activate button the flow is activated successfully so move to the instruction space scroll down to the last and here click on this check challenge button here yeah, the challenge is completed and we got the 500 points now i am going to solve the third challenge in flow fundamental super batch unit and the name of the challenge is update the birthday loyalty points update flow so to start this challenge launch the developer edition of then you will be redirected here and from this quick find search for flows select these flows and from here search for birthday loyalty points update this is the birthday loyalty points update flow so to remove these warnings click on this the elements are visible now now we need to add update records element so just drag and drop this update records element and type the label as update and after that for this how to find records select it as specify conditions and for this object search for contact so select this contact and here select this none update all contact records 
for this field search for loyalty points so select this and for the value click on this plus new resource and for this resource type select it as formula type the api name as points and select the data type as number and leave the decimal places as 2 then we need to add the formula so move to the instruction space and here copy it then paste it here after adding the formula click on this check syntax so we can see that the formula is valid just click on this done button so yeah the value points is added successfully after that click on this done button then we need to give connection just give a connection from this action element to update records after that click on this save as new version and then click save here the flow is saved successfully then we need to activate further click on this activate button it is activated so move to the instruction space just scroll down to the last and here click on this check challenge button here the challenge is completed and we got 500 points Now I am going to solve the last and final challenge in Flow Fundamental Super Batch Unit and it is a quiz challenge. So click on this take quiz button. The first question is the VP of sales at Dreamscape wants an account records industry. So for this question the correct option is option A. And for the second question the correct option is option D scheduled trigger flow. And for the last and final question, the correct option is option C. So after selecting all of these options, just click on this check the quiz button. Here yeah, the whole flow fundamental super batch unit is completed without any errors. Do check out our channel education matters for next challenge answers and also super batch answers. And please do share our channel to your friends. It will help them too. That's it. Thank you.